All right, we're live. So welcome to the video on um, round three of your scenario for the hair links. But for this group who is doing eutrophication, um, it's not actually on hair links. It's on the trout and the eagles. And if I seem kind of happy, it's because A, I love birds, and two, uh, B, there's actually something that happens in here that I, I just giggle at. I, I don't know why. It's, I guess I've been locked inside too long. So, anyway. so there we go. Some eagles, some lake trout, and let's get to it. So the game plays basically the same, except we're just replacing hare with trout and link with eagles. So there we go. You know, same sort of idea where if the, um, you know, if the eagle catches three trout, it doubles. If it only catches one or two, they survive. If it catches nothing, it dies. And then any trout that don't get eaten, double. Okay, so it's basically the same rules. We're just replacing them. Um, same idea. If two uh, eagles drop on the same trout, the one that was there first wins. And yep. So how many trout can there be? Well, we're going to just use a nice easy number. We're going to say that uh, you have 20 trout. And the problem is, is that when we double them, we can only double to 20. And we'll talk about why this is the case. Okay, so let's just take a look at here. Um, there's a lake next to your forest. In this lake, you have trout, and the eagles eat the trout. For the trout, it's a closed ecosystem. Okay, so for the trout, it's not like they can get up and walk over land and pack their bags and decide to go to the next lake over. They, they can't really do that. They're limited by the streams. And typically for fish, it's usually a closed system. Um, it's for this one, is definitely a closed system. For the eagles, it's an open system, though, because an eagle can fly over the trees and go to another lake. And so this is like a medium-sized lake, such as like Lake St. Clair, which is located just north of Windsor between Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Okay. And it's a big enough lake. Uh, it can get deep in the middle, but it's, it's not like, we're not talking a great lake, okay? We're talking fairly small. Uh, next to the lake, there's a farmer's field where they've been spraying a lot of fertilizer. Okay, this fertilizer is running off in the lake, causing algae to overgrow over time. Um, this lake is on its way to becoming eutrophicized. The lake is dying. And if you want to know more about how eutrophication works, then please go back and watch the eutrophication video. Um, and there we go. So there's no real change to the eagles. However, the following rules apply to the trout. Every three rails, the rate at which the trout can reproduce is reduced by 25%. This is representing uh, the fact that in a lake like this, trout will go and put their eggs in shallow parts of the water. And those are the areas that are most likely to be eutrophicized. So the very place where the trout need to reproduce are the very places of the lake that are dead. Um, so, for example, if you had 10 trout after round three, you'd only place eight pieces because we've got to take out 25%, right? So it's only seven, seven and a half. We're going to round it up to eight. Point seven. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. But don't worry. We, we have the math all done up at the top of the, the screen there for the slides when it starts happening. So it should be fairly straightforward for you to see what happens. Okay, here we go. Um, so we have the three trout the one eagle and this is where i always laugh because i you know what guys we did something special for you this time we made an animation that actually made sense because watch what happens with the uh trout and the eagle at the end here so we have two trout they double to four and then um we have the eagle one eagle and it's going to fly away with the trout <laughs> see what happened see it flies away okay this is absolutely ridiculous but i love it okay there we go and yeah there we go I'm still laughing. Yep. Next next round, and he gets meal, gets one, and then ch -ch -ch, three trout left. There you go. And flies off with his prey. Now, again, only gets one, so it's just going to live, not double, but it's enough that it has a good meal. There we go. Okay, so now we're up to six and one. And third round, so we still haven't made any changes to the last round before any changes. This guy gets two meals, two two trout now. He's going to fly away with both. Uh, but most importantly, we're doubling these other four to eight. So now we end up with eight and one. Okay. Now, we got to be careful here because now the rules have changed. Now we only, it only has 75% of the reproduction rate. So I took off I took off 25% of its reproduction. And that's telling you that some parts of the lake are starting to eutrophicize, right? Okay, so this one gets a meal on the problem. So now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So when I take seven and I multiply it by 0.75, I, I round that to five. I can only place five. I'm not actually placing seven. I'm only placing five. And so that's what we did. 
So now we only end up with 12 trout. See, normally we would have 14, but now 12. But 12 is still a good number, right? But here we go. So eagle flies off with his prey, and we get 12 and 1. Remember, because we don't have a full reproduction rate anymore. All right. So let's play the next round. There you go. Meal doesn't double, but gets 2. And so it means we have 10 left. But 10 times 0.75 is only 7.5. So I'm adding 8. Like we said, do we round that? So we're going to round it to eight. Rounding to the evens, remember, you know, since this is an odd number, we'll round it up to eight. And there we go. So we have 18 trout. We have one eagle. Okay. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Now remember, we're almost at cap, right? We're almost at cap. So we just got to be careful. So eagle comes in. Oh, I got a big meal. Scored. So this eagle is going to double. So it means we have 15. So our capacity for reproduction is 11, but I can't add 11, right? I can only add on the 5 that bring us up to 20, but I could add up to 11, right? So there we go. Okay. And there we go. And, oh, there we go. Now we've seen the reproduction rate change. Now the lake is starting to have more and more areas that are being troubled. So now we only have a 50% um, reproduction rate. And we got two eagles. They come in. I think, what's this one going to do? Double, right? Yep. So we're going to have how many eagles now? Okay, so they took away five, so 15. So we got 15 left. So our numbers look like this: 15 times five rounds up to eight. So yeah, we we get add the five back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're back up to 20. Cool. Okay, these guys came in. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, big meal. It's a massacre, mm -hmm. right? So double, stay, stay. So we end up four hawks or four eagles, and there's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve left. So now the thing is, a, yeah, so it's six, right? Because twelve times half is six. So I'm only up to eighteen. I actually dropped. You know, I now only have eighteen trout. I mean, I mean normally I could double it up back up to twenty, right? Because twelve times two is twenty-four, and that's more than we have, right? But it actually is causing us not to hit that capacity anymore. <laughs> Look at all the fish go flying. See, fish can fly, guys, if they're in the talons of an eagle. So if your parents ever say, when fish fly, you say, but mom, when an eagle catches a fish and flies away, it is flying. So anyways, I said that to my mom once. She wasn't impressed. Because the saying is when pigs fly. I know. My mom said <laughs> And then she threw a book at me and said that the books can fly too. Mm -hmm. No, she didn't throw a book at me. <laughs> she threatened to. Um, all right, there we go. So there we go, the four go. Oh, oh, this one decided to go for the same food, so it's going to die off because it might on top. But one, two, three, we'll have three eagles left. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, eleven times this is only five. I think it's six that we add, so we're up to seventeen. And four eagles. Yeah, because the wine reproduces. Yeah, he reproduces, he dies. There we go. You look at them, them fish go flying. I'm a giant child at heart. My wife's in the background saying I am. She knows. She still loves me. I think. Okay, here's the four going in. Double, stay, stay, stay. So we end up with five eagles, right? We have one, two, three, yep. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now that's only going to reproduce. See? Ah, oh, I forgot to show you. So remember, we're after another three rounds here. So now the rates really drop. So more and more of the lake is being killed off, right? So now in this situation, we have nine times point two five. Uh, I don't know why I have two decimals in there. Whatever. Paris, we'll go with it. We know what we're trying to do. So we end up with 2.25. So we're only adding two. So we're only up to 11 because we only had nine left, right? Eight got caught. So we got nine left. We only had two. So it's only 11 eagle or 11 trout. Oh no. But the eagles reproduced. Yeah. So, wow. Look at that. Lives, 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 lives. A lot of the one, two, three are only left. And we're only doing that little right there. So, 0.75. So, we're adding one. Yep. Well. Sorry, I got to change that number. It should be four, right? Yep. Yep. So that's, and then the last round, we only got one trout left, and it doesn't 
even it's not able to reproduce. But I mean, that's okay, right? Because we'll just have trout immigrate in from other lakes, right? No. How no. are they getting in from other lakes? Are they walking? Oh, right, because it's a closed ecosystem, right? So remember, it was closed, which means that they can't come in and out. So once you've used up everything that's in there, it, it's done, right? It's done, those. Is that the idea? So, I mean, these eagles, don't worry about them. They'll, they'll fly off and find somewhere else. But, like, I mean, once that trail's gone, so I don't know why it says three or left. It should be one. We'll make sure that the data's right. And then, basically, like, the eagle swung and missed, but eagle the eagle's eventually going to catch the trout. And then once I have no more trout left, I have no other way of getting more trout in there. The lake's completely like algae, algae over, at least in all the reproduction areas. So we have no kind of reproduction rate anymore. And all the trout are gone. So now there's nothing left. There's nothing to drop. And the lake is dead. Okay. The predators leave. The system dies. Bye bye lake. Okay. And that's that's what we're showing here. So you go up to 14 rounds. So we actually play quite deep into this one. And there you go. There's our lake. Looks yummy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's the data. Uh, we'll make sure the stuff in there. Yeah, I think the data actually looks okay. I think I made a mistake on the slides, but this part's okay. So there we go. Okay. So 